Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gerald Ted. Welcome back again. Thank Day you. three. Got some other, I got some additional questions. Ted, can you review for my students what a tax lien certificate is? Sure, sure. Okay, folks, in the United States, uh, we have 3,000 counties. About half of the counties sell tax lien certificates, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you're going to get the property or kick somebody out. What it really means is that people didn't pay their tax, so the local government said, look, you haven't paid your tax. We're going to find someone else that will pay it. Now, why would someone else pay it? Well, they want to pay it because those states charge outrageous interest rates. For example, in Florida, 18%, and you know the banks are only paying like 1%. All right, in a place like Illinois, they pay all the way up to 36% on a tax certificate. So let's say you're in Illinois and you want to buy a certificate. So you can buy this giant list of, 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 of tax lien certificates. Let me pull up another one. Okay, so this is, this is a, a South Florida county, and uh, yeah, I, I can get the list. The list comes from the newspaper, and there's nothing but thousands and thousands of these certificates. Okay, you can see by the newspaper, thousands of them. Now this list here is 30,000. So plenty, of, plenty, plenty for everybody. All right, so you raise your hand, you buy that certificate, and when you do, you paid someone else's tax. Now, what do you get in return? You get a piece of paper. It's called a tax lien certificate, it's just a piece of paper. Now, you hold that piece of paper. All you do after you buy it is you go sit down on your rusty dusty, you don't do anything, and you wait so that people have anywhere from, from one to two years to come in and pay. Now, remember, those people stayed in the property. They didn't get kicked out. The county is very benevolent. They don't bother them. Nobody bothers them. And guess what? If they pay you, they've got to come in and pay you whatever you invested plus the high interest rates. So people really like that. Now, 98%, 97, 98% of all those people will come in and pay. So it's a very safe, secure investment. I tell people all the time, it's the safest, most lucrative investment in America. All right, so that's what a tax is doing. Now you're saying to yourself, well, wait a minute, Chad. Well, I don't want to put my money up and then lose it. Well, you're not going to lose it because if the people don't pay, the county will foreclose on the property and they'll wipe out the mortgage. They just wipe it out and you get the property. So you either get paid or you get the property, all right? So that's a good investment. All right, now I'm gonna show you some people that buy those tax certificates right now and the people don't pay them. All right, now let me say that again. They bought the tax certificate and the people don't pay them. Now, no one's ever gonna believe me because I'm just a white haired old guy, okay? So guess what? I'm gonna show you a video of this young couple. They bought a tax certificate. They spent, they spent pennies on the tax certificate. I won't, won't steal their thunder. They spent pennies. The people never came in and paid the tax. They ended up getting the property, which is a beautiful condominium on a lake. And so what they did is they sold it. So they invested $11,000. They got all their money back plus 169,000. Watch this video, you'll be shocked. This is life changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property, and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. For we were in 11. it total for 11000 Both of those. And we rented that magic. at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property, and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account.
All right, now there you have it. You just saw them. That was a couple. They bought that tax. They've done this more than once. They bought a tax certificate. So their strategy is a little different than what I teach. What they like to do is they like to go out and say, I don't think these people are going to pay their taxes. Then they know they're going to get the property. That's a whole strategy. So they buy the tax certificate and then they go home and when they, they bought a certificate, they go home and they pray, go home and they pray the people don't pay. Well, in this case, the people didn't. They made 169000 on one deal. Now, these are thir this couple is 30, 40 years old. What would 169000 bucks do for you? Think about what's going to happen right there. All right, now, they don't stop doing that. I'll show you other ones before we finish our four, four videos. I'm doing the same thing more than once. Now, when we do my, my uh, all-day workshop, you're going to get to meet those people. You'll get, you'll get to meet, you'll meet them on video. You, you'll see that they, these are real deals. So... Lots of people like tax lien certificates because they know they're going to get paid, but you can actually buy tax lien certificates and hope you don't get paid. Either way, you're going to get paid. That's the beautiful part. I love it. I love it. I love it. So question, what is the fastest state to get access to the property? Fastest to get access? Uh, I'd have to say it's probably Texas. Uh, what happens in Texas is they sell what they call a redeemable deed. Now, Texas has 240 counties. They have an auction. Uh, they're authorized to have an auction in every county every month. Every month, I say. All right, so you go to a place like, uh, let's pick Harris County. That's Houston, okay? You go to Houston, they will have 200 properties every month. Now, if you don't realize how big Houston is, well, it's 6 million people there. All right, so 6 million people, but they'll have 200 every single month. You can raise your hand. You can buy a property right there at the auction. Those people have 180 days. Listen to what I'm saying now. Those people have 180 days to come in and pay you. If they come in and pay you what you paid, you'll get your money back plus 25%. Would that be good? You get your money back plus 25%, and you have to get that in 180 days. Now, if they don't pay in 180 days, you get the property for whatever you paid. Wow. Wow. Another question is, is we want to review again on tax defaulted properties. All right, so tax default properties work this way. All right, every state in America has counties. Every county is authorized to collect taxes. If they don't collect the taxes and that state legislature said, all right, you're gonna lose your property. So the county treasurer now confiscates the property. The county doesn't want the property. Why doesn't the county want the property? Because they already own the administration buildings. They already own the parks. They already own the... They're on the schools, they don't want any property. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna sell that property at auction. They generally start those auctions, a tax defaulted auction. They generally start that at the back taxes. So what you did is you bought a property and let's say the property was a $200,000 property and you paid 40,000, so 20 cents on the dollar. So you paid 40,000. So the minimum bid might've only been 10,000 in back taxes. So you paid 40,000 the county, you get a property without a mortgage. All right, so the difference between the 40,000 you paid and the 200,000, that margin is yours. All right, so some of these houses are slightly used, slightly abused, you know, a little paint, touch them up, do whatever. Or what I do is I just wholesale them out. Why? Because I want to go back to the auction and make my money. I don't want to be out there painting, fixing roofs, you know, hauling all that junk out. I don't want any of that stuff. What I want to do is I want to buy it low and then I'm going to sell it low. All right. So I do that primarily online because there's so many online ways to do this now. So you don't have to leave home. You can sit on your rusty dusty, do this whole business, looking at the same computer you're looking at right now. We can teach you to do that. That's all we do. We just teach people to do what you just, what that question was, how to buy those properties online. That's beautiful. You know what, Ted, now that I think about it, I have a whole community of people that focus on this aspect, this, this niche called wholesaling. So I'm glad you went ahead. I'm glad you said that. What are the best states to buy tax deeds? Best states to buy tax deeds. Uh, first of all, they're all good. You just have to look at the auction itself. Now you can do all the research online at home. All right, now there's gonna be states like New York, Ohio, and they'll say, that's Rust Belt America. There's a lot of houses, like I bought, if you know what a colonial house is, if you're an old timer, you know what a colonial, it's a big house, big curb driveway. In the I bought colonial houses in New York. Now they have values of 
350, 450, all the way up to 650, these colonials. They set on two to four acres. Those properties, I buy those properties for 100,000. I buy them for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar with no mortgage. So you just need to look at where you want to buy. Now, I make my home in Florida, so I don't have any hes hesitation. I can show you people buying in California. They'll buy a million dollars worth, a million dollars worth of residential lots in Los Angeles for less than 10 cents on the dollar. No mortgage. I'll show you this on video, and I'll do it before we finish today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is an attorney or broker required to buy a tax defaulted property or lien? No, the beauty in this business, it was created 200 years ago, and unfortunately, they never changed any of the rules. And so the rules are anybody can show up at the auction. The only, only criteria you have for showing up is can you pay for the property? The one thing you don't want to do, take my word for it now, don't go to an auction and bid unless you got money. Because if you bid, you're going you're gonna to have a sheriff with you within minutes if you don't pay for it. Because you can't go to the auction and scam the, you, you're not going to scam the county. The county's got a district attorney and the sheriff works for the district attorney. So take my word for it. This is a serious business. It's not game playing. Uh, but you need, when you go to the auction, you got to make sure you get the money to bid. And when you go up there, you're going to have to give them, you'll know ahead of time. All the, uh, all the auctions have rules and we teach you to follow those rules exactly. This is a serious business. When you can buy a 400 or 500, I've had people do million dollar properties. When you buy those, those properties, they expect you to pay. And if you don't have the money, who you are in big trouble because people try to scam the auction. You're not going to scam the county. You're not going to scam the district attorney. You need to follow the rules. So I'm not trying to scare you, but some auctions will charge you $5,000 just to get a bidder's card. You will not bid without giving them 5,000. And if you bid and you don't pay them, they're going to keep the 5,000 and they're coming after you. you. You don't want the district attorney after you. It's not worth it. But the point is anybody can bid. Uh, they're very benevolent with the, the way they do it. Uh, the small auctions where there's 100 people. Uh, every time I've ever been to an auction or any of my students go, because we interview them after every auction, there'll sometimes be 100 to 300 people in the room. But you can just about look around the room and you'll find less than 20% of the people in the room are bidders. Less than 20% are bidders. And those people that are bidders, many of them haven't had training. And what they do is they just bid and hope like hell it's going to work. Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, people buy and pray that they're going to make money. I'm going to tell you, prayer is not a very good business strategy. It's just really not a good business strategy. It doesn't work. <laughs> so I need 50000 to go ahead and play. I got 50000 cash. And my question to you is this. Should I buy, buy a bunch of small tax liens? Or should I buy maybe a couple of larger ones? Well, I would tell you to get started. Do you want to buy small ones so you get different ones? Because here's what's going to happen. So let's say we bought 10 of them. They're not mm -hmm. all going to pay off at the same time. So let's say this guy was sick over number one. Number one, he was sick. But now he gets better. He gets back to doing his job. I mean, people don't, people don't go to tax auction because they want to. You know, something happened in their life. Maybe the car got wrecked. Maybe there's a hurricane. Maybe there was uh, COVID. You know, you get... But as soon as they get money, they pay their tax. People don't want to lose their house. I can tell you that. All right. So tax liens are very, very conservative. If you can earn on tax certificates, some of them pay all the way up to 36%. But if you can make a nice steady 8 or 10% on a conservative tax lien, oh, man, where are you going to get that? The marketplace is paying 1%. Now, at my, at my event, I have people come in and actually teach you how to do that. And they'll show you, here's how I made 18%. There's other people that make a little less than that. Uh, making a big bucks in tax certificates is not the name of the game. Tax certificates are a safe, secure investment. You invest only with the county, your check's coming back from the county. It's a very safe investment. Tax deeds, this is the entre entrepreneurial kind of. Now, if someone's a wholesaler or they're a rehabber, they fall in love with Ted. Why? They're pretty hard to find those wholesale properties, right? I got all you want. They're gonna have, this year, there's gonna be how many auctions? There's gonna be at least 3,000 auctions. Why don't I go to the auction and buy it? Why am I out beating my brain down with a wholesaler? Yeah. What is the cheapest you've ever seen someone get a tax defaulted property? What is the fastest I ever saw? 
the cheapest. What's the cheapest well, the you've cheapest. ever seen somebody oh my get God. Oh, taxed? All right. Now, look, people aren't going to believe me in this. And I'll show you the guy. Okay. So I got a guy. He's in Georgia. He's in South Georgia. Okay. And he works in the prison system. He's a preacher man. He's a preacher man. And he, uh, he teaches Islam and he teaches Christianity in the Georgia prison system. And so he found out about this. He started calling me up and uh, I started helping him out with that. He said, you know, you don't make me much money. And I said, okay, I'll help you. So I'm, I'm helping him out. And he calls me up one day and he said, I'm sending you a picture. Now you got to see the picture. It's going to come up while I'm talking. All right. It's just a nice little house, a little two bedroom, one bath house. And, uh, and I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, it's going to auction. And so um, he heads down there to the auction and um, there's nobody else there. There's nobody else. It's two, two bedroom, one bedroom. Nobody else there. So he's afraid to bid. So he calls me up and says, there's nobody here. I said, well, great. Just buy it. He bought a house for $316. $316. This is amazing. What? All right. Now, it's not going to be unusual to get houses for four and 5000 It's not going to be unusual. So he buys his house. He calls me back. He said, I got it. And I said, okay, good. What are you going to do with it? He said, oh, I don't know. I said, why don't you sell it? Now, the house was probably worth 35 or 50 grand. It wasn't fancy, little house. And he said, oh, I don't want to sell it. I want to own stuff. I said, okay, well, then you're going to rent it. He said, what should I rent? I said, well, I'm in Florida. I don't know what the rent in South Georgia is. And he said, I said, go around the neighborhood and ask the people. So the people in the neighborhood said, you should rent it for 700 bucks a month. He only paid 300. Rent it for 700. So this young guy came. He said, look, I'm going to school. My dad gave me enough money for rent for the whole year. I'll give you $6,000. If you'll let me have your house for the whole year, just renting it, not buying it. So he paid 316 and he rented it for 6,000 bucks for the year. So that's about the cheapest I've ever seen. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. Question. Now, wait a minute. I, I want you to understand. I never got one that cheap. I never did one that cheap. <laughs> okay. Okay. And here's why I don't get one that cheap. I don't like to do those little deals. I like to do deals where I might have to put up 10 or 20,000 bucks. I'm okay with that because I want to make the big upside. I believe if we're gonna do business together, let's teach you to make 25, 50 or a hundred grand. If you do that once or twice a year, this is business has been around for 200 years. You can do this forever. I don't care what the economy is. I don't care about COVID. We didn't slow down. The biggest year I had was a COVID year. Why? Because I could teach people how to do it online. Yeah. Another question is, is, let's say, for instance, I go ahead and I get a tax deed home. Am I responsible for paying the utilities, the water, the gas, the, the heating? Am I responsible for that? I want to hear Yeah, that. yeah. If you buy a house, you own it. When you go, yeah. when you go to that auction, not, not that day, but a couple of days later, they're going to hand you a deed. Yeah. The deed, that means it's yours. If you don't pay the tax, you don't pay the water, you're, paying, you're going to have to pay all that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, sure, but you can sell it and get all the profit, too. Or you can yeah. rent it. You can do whatever you want with it. We teach people how to do installment sales. They go crazy. They just go crazy. These little houses, you know, about 25, 30% of the market can't get financing. You know, if you, have, if you don't have a credit score around 700 nowadays, oh, you got a lowest credit score of 400, 500, you're not buying anything you know, from, with a bank. Hell, we, 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 we take these houses and we give these people installment sales. Man, get a house sold in a week. Why? Because people can't get financed. So we finance them. Why not? Happens all day long. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can I go ahead and I can buy these? Like, let's say for a tax lead, tax deed. Can I go ahead and I buy these with a credit card? Uh, okay. All right. I wish there's more of that. But uh, so my guys, uh, I've always been a cash buyer. So I got one guy. He's over in Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I don't think I have time in this video, but I'll show you another video. He um, he came to me. And he didn't tell me he didn't have any money. So he went to class and he went back to Michigan and he didn't have any money. And I didn't have a job either, but he had credit cards. So he started buying at Michigan auctions. Michigan will accept a credit card. And, and he was buying houses for $6,000 and selling them for $30,000 with five or $6,000 down. So he paid $6,000, get $6,000 down, and gets payments for 10 years. Now, that sounds bizarre, but this guy did six zero properties in six years. 60 properties in six years. So I didn't believe him. So I said, all right. So I bought in New York. Now you're not gonna believe this. I bought in New York, I have this beautiful colonial. It's sitting on 12 acres. And I bought this house, honest to God now, I paid 120,000 bucks on credit cards. 
credit cards. I bought nine properties on credit cards just to prove you could do it on credit cards. And as the money came in, I just paid off the credit cards. So what? They were happy to do it. Think of how that opens up your mind. All you guys got credit card. And nowadays, 10,000 bucks on a credit card is nothing. All right. You go to the auction. You can buy. Now, the only two states that I know are really into that right now are um, Michigan and New York. But, you know, we're recording today. Tomorrow afternoon, they could say, but I would ask at every auction, can I use my credit card? Darn right. Why not? Yeah. Wow. That is amazing. Another question. So this is more so. So I go ahead. I'm investing in tax liens. And the tax lien that I go ahead and I buy, remember, the bank still has a mortgage on it. How for a lot of my customers that are my followers, how, how does that work? Are they really going to are they really going to go ahead and wipe out that mortgage once I go ahead and get that tax lien? OK, now the the the. The business has exact rules that have to be followed by everybody. All right, so when you have a tax on your property, the tax is always the number one lien. I don't care what any broker or anybody told you, but if you have an attorney researcher or the title company, you're the number one. So when you buy a tax lien certificate, they're gonna give you that piece of paper. See, that's the number one lien on the property. If those property owners pay you, you're gonna get all your money back plus the high interest rate. If they don't pay you, you're gonna get the property and the county is going to wipe out the mortgage. Now, why does the county do that? Because the county, the day you buy, they're going to tell that bank, one of you two guys better make sure this thing gets paid, the taxes get paid, because if the tax don't get paid, the mortgage is wiped out. So whenever you buy a tax lien certificate, know that the mortgage is going to be wiped out by the county. And they will wipe the mortgage out. It happens every single day. It's not unusual for this to happen. It happens every day. Now, you would say, why would the bank let that happen? I don't know. Why did the bank lend the money in the first place when they shouldn't have lent that much money? You know, the banks make a lot of mistakes. So right. this isn't a class on that, but believe me, I got a few opinions there. <laughs> Ted, once again, want to go ahead and thank you for going ahead and coming on. Guys, check out the next email. Look out for the next video. Remember, remember, all day class, November 6th. 2021 starts at 11 a.m. Eastern, okay? See you guys in the next video. Okay, so long, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.